You must be thinking that um, Sanjeev uh, talks about Shilpi Sharma, but then a Narayanan Kurur is being asked to. <laughs> if I were in the audience, I would think that way. <clears throat> she should be doing it. <laughs> okay, uh, it's a pleasure uh, to be here, and I would like to thank Sanjeev and Shivani uh, for this invitation to um, this uh, inaugural ceremony. Um, Colonel Pokriyal was mentioning, I'm not sure if you overheard amongst, um, when we were lighting the lamp, that um, all of us, except Colonel Pokriyal, have an IIT Delhi connection. Uh, that was not the reason why I'm here, by the way. Uh, it so turns out that we've um, uh, continued our support of, um, of the Youth Ideathon. Uh, we did it in a small fashion last time. But um, we have taken it uh, one step further, and um, it is through the initiative of um, our Associate Dean of Academic Outreach, Professor Shil Shilpi Sharma. Mm, we happened to host this, uh, the finals of the uh, school ideathon last year in October of 2024. Oh, okay, okay. Well, <laughs> that tells you how much I know about it. <laughs> um, and I can tell you um, one thing is that uh, there is a buzz when young people come um, anywhere. And uh, one of the advantages of being in academia is that uh, unlike any other profession, uh, the difference between us and our customers always increases. Think about it. Huh? Because we always teach. 17 or 18 year olds. Um, whereas this is even younger, and I know that because there are faculty members whose children go to school and they were all excited about this when they saw this, so I think they brought a lot of, so there was a lot of um, positive response to this. But I am an academician, and I had a concern which which is that um, entrepreneurship is built on ideas. And for ideas, you need an education. And I was concerned that we were starting them a little bit too young. I'll be frank about it. Uh, yes, it is one of the spaces where entrepreneurship has happened is aggregation. Our own graduate, uh, Dipinder Goyal, does Zumato, which is aggregation uh, in a sense. Uh, he may disagree, but it is aggregation. Um, the other is, is as Dakshayani's case, is assistive technology. Those are two spaces uh, where I think there is a lot of um, entrepreneurship that has happened. But um, from now, my sense is, and by the way, I have, you know, Diametrically opposite from entrepreneurship, I do, you know, conventional, hardcore, basic science. Uh, never at 17, I couldn't, um, I wouldn't have been able to, which I say, I couldn't have spelled entrepreneurship. Even now, I need a spell check uh, that I got it right. Um, I couldn't differentiate what I was learning from a hole in the ground, by the way. Um, but now, um, I think it is, the, the future is deep tech, if we have to make a difference. Uh, and I think for deep tech, you need to have an education. You would have a rare Bill Gates or a Steve Jobs, but one needs an education. So in that sense, I'm extremely happy that we have moved it to College Ideathon. So at least there is some sort of education base that is built uh, before they take up these ideas. Um, because finally, I think one needs an education. Uh, yes, entrepreneurship is where everybody is headed, and engineering is, and technology is one place where there is a lot of entrepreneurship. And I think most education, whether it is in the West or in India, and if you look at the NEP, for example, entrepreneurship is, is an important ingredient of the educational policies. So I think that is a natural thing to happen. Um, so in that sense, yeah, it's good that we are moving to the college level. 
Um, yeah, so that's about all that I have to say about it. We are very happy to partner. And the, the one reason why, at least I was saying, is that how is IIT involved? Um, because we just don't want to be hosting events without uh, some involvement. And I think um, Shivani was just mentioning that our PhD students have been the judges of many of the things that have happened, at least certainly last year. We've got a large student base. Um, so they've been, it's also a learning for them that they sit on these things. Um, so that was how we got into this, that our students benefit from something um, involving in themselves in this, um, rather than just always dedicating themselves to the science that, it, that they do. So we are happy, so we are able to contribute in some way, may not be of the type of support that other organizations here uh, do, but in kind maybe. Um, uh, so that's, that's our driver for being associated with the Youth Ideathon. Um, yeah, without, uh, I think, nothing more than uh, that. And I, once again, I hope that um, all the sponsors will continue to support uh, the Youth Ideathon and take it to the next level, and let's hope uh, for the best. Uh, thank you very much.